swear to God, I'm like a little kid at heart because there's no way I'll ever make more than one trip to take all the groceries in. All right, actually, I'm gonna do this the other way. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in the week, kind of like a grocery haul for my bulking diet right now. I'm eating around 3,500. This is around a week's worth of groceries and it came out to around like $150. So I think pretty, pretty good price, especially for the quality of food I get. And especially since I'm lean bulking, it is a little bit pricier than just getting like Doritos and stuff like that. But, you know, try to be as affordable and think about my budget as much as possible just because I am a college student. I know a lot of you guys, you know, don't want to spend a ton of money on groceries either. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I get at the grocery store for a week of bulking. All right, so first we have a go-to. I eat this every single morning, protein oatmeal, and I like banana nut. It has 230 calories per serving and 10 grams of protein per packet. So I got four of those because they were buy one, get one free today, which was a crazy good deal. Also, if you guys can't tell, I'm congested. Sorry about it, but definitely feeling kind of under the weather right now. It's not the vid, but I am sick. And then here are the other two boxes. And then I get cashews, like I said in my last vlog. Great bulking snack for like in class and stuff. And then I have Hawaiian rolls, just kind of like a, more of a treat that I'll eat after a meal, just to get some calories in and they taste hella good. And Annie's mac and cheese, kind of like a healthier kind of mac and cheese, but still a lot of calories. I only eat it with like chicken or just by itself. rice -a easy calories, and uh, kind of decent protein. Very cheap as well. I think it's around like 79 cents. And I'll usually eat it with like a meat source, like chicken or steak or something. And then I got onions for just random stuff. Garlic, just for cooking. Spice up my eggs normally because I hate eggs, so I put everything in my eggs to, so I can hide the taste. And then Dave's Killer Bread. So this is freaking such a good item. It's 260 calories per bagel. You can get it in bread form or bagel form and 13 grams per bagel and they taste really good and I'll put normally put like avocado on it and have it in the mornings. And then I got OJ because that's good for calories and it tastes good. I got avocados, only got two because they are expensive. And then I got this chicken like Chinese chicken for the first time I'm gonna try it out I got it because it was really cheap and it's 410 calories and 15 grams per one cup so that's really barely anything and there's around three cups in this so I'm excited to try that I'll let you know how it is and then I got some chicken fried rice from also from the frozen food section also good calories this I'm also trying for the first time actually Protein granola, I've never seen it before. I think it's new actually. Yeah, it says new on there. 10 grams of protein. I got chocolate and almond flavor. It looks really good. And of course eggs, staple. If you're not eating eggs, you better start. I know it's kind of, not everyone likes them, especially me, I hate eggs, but I have to eat them, I force them down. Tortillas for when I make like turkey tacos. Bananas for my shake in the morning. Grapes to snack on because I need to get my micros in somehow. I honestly really need to do a better job of getting my micronutrients in. It's kind of terrible. Rice, super cheap, great calories, pretty good for you. I'll switch it up between white and brown rice, but white's much better. Tomato sauce for either beef pasta or turkey pasta. And then I have my meat sources. I normally get two things of ground turkey and then one to two of these thinly sliced breast fillets of chicken. And then normally one uh, ground beef just because that's more expensive and it goes bad quicker. Milk and butter just for, you know, daily cooking things. Got some little more fried rice because I eat it a lot, even more. And then I got frozen berries, which are cheaper than regular berries, and I put them on my oatmeal. And then strawberries and banana for my protein shake smoothies that I make. And then I got beef ravioli, because this is also a ton of calories, really good protein, super tasty, and super easy to make. It takes like five minutes. Alright, 
and that is basically it. It's around 150. This will get me through the week, if not a little bit longer, like one or two days longer. And yeah, all high calorie foods. Sometimes if I need to, or if I want to make like a special meal, I'll go back to the grocery store and get something else. But normally this holds me over totally fine. And just like my go-to meals are either putting beef or turkey with pasta and tomato sauce. I'll have these frozen meals. Like I said, I got all these different ones. I'll make turkey tacos. I'll just make chicken rice, broccoli. I'll normally have broccoli every other day. I eat a lot of it. What I'll do is I'll just get a bag of broccoli. I already have a few bags in the fridge, that's why I didn't get any today. I'll put some olive oil on it, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, and then throw it in the oven and just like kind of roast it. I don't know, it tastes really good. And then I'll always eat my oatmeal in the morning along with my high calorie protein shake. And sometimes I'll switch up with some mac and cheese, different kind of carbs. I'll normally have sweet potato, but I also have sweet potato in the fridge, so that's why I didn't get any today. And yeah, that's basically it. My main meals, this is the groceries I get. I just thought it might be good for you guys to see kind of what I'm eating throughout the week. And you guys can you know try out these meals or get some of the stuff and add it to your diet. Like I said, very affordable. For me as a college student, I need to be, I need to be conscious of what I'm spending on groceries every week. But also, this is probably more food than like an average one person would eat. But I am bulking, I need those gains, around 3,500 calories every single day, and I need to do it the right way, not dirty bulking. Eating mostly all clean foods. So yeah, that's basically it. And I'm gonna put this stuff away, eat a little pre-workout meal, and then head over to the gym. So my mouth is extremely blue because I just had pre-workout, and honestly, the only good thing about conge like being congested is that I'm not smelling the pre-workout when I'm taking it, so it's way easier to get down. You know, I can still taste it, it's just, I don't know, somehow makes it better because I, doesn't matter what flavor it is, doesn't matter what company, I hate taking pre-workout. Like literally it sucks. I have to at this point like every day, but I freaking do not like, I wish they made flavorless ones. They probably do. I just don't know any brands that do. But if you know of one, comment it down below. Anyway, wearing the new shorts that are coming out. These are my favorite shorts of all time. Freaking dropping Black Friday. And this video will come out before before then, but it's next week, the 23rd of November, and it's lasting at three days. My code CODA will be 30% off, so off the entire site, and this is the biggest drop that's ever come out, but anything else that's on the site, you will also have 30% off. So we're coming out with these shaker bottles. Obviously, I'll do a full haul on like my Instagram, but these shorts, these quarter zip ups, then the tracksuit, I have the tracksuit joggers, they're dirty, they're in the wash right now. And then these compression t-shirts, I think I already showed most of it. Oh yeah, these like heavyweight cotton t-shirts, these are really cool. These are like, I wouldn't probably wear this to the gym, but I would wear it like streetwear, like with jeans. This would look sick because it's like kind of thicker material. And then the new hoodies that are coming out, like the camo ones, the windbreakers, and then the same kind of material but long sleeve. And there's some more, but I've been wearing it throughout the week, so a lot of it's dirty. But I will show you guys everything on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me. But about to head to the gym. All right, so if anyone's wondering, I go to school in the Bay Area, so kind of near San Francisco. And currently, mid-November, it is freezing. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, but I might experience some hypothermia here soon. By the way, guys, to get a better pump when it's winter time, because when you're cold, you're not going to get as good of a pump, Turn the heat on in your car before, like, I mean, if you're wearing a hoodie and some sweats, then you're probably fine, but turn the heat on on your way to the gym, and you will get a much better pump, because your blood will be warm, and I'm not really sure about the science behind it, but I know it's true, and I know it works, so. Let's get 80 degrees, full blast. It's time to hit some back and buys. Loki, I've been, oh, that's probably so dark, you probably can't even see me, but I've been training so hard recently, like, I've been just pushing my, oh, there's a car coming, I've been pushing my muscles to the absolute max, just training with ultimate intensity and like little rest times, just because I don't know what it is, but I'm so motivated right now to get huge, and I, it's probably because I'm bulking and I feel bad about my, how my body's looking, but even though I'm staying relatively lean, still not as lean as I was at the end of my cut obviously and I don't know just be kind of feeling down about it so I've just been training extra hard oh gotta turn my lights on that's not good um 
And so yeah, my workouts have been extra intense lately, but I definitely am growing. The scale is going up slowly as well. Might have to up calories here soon because I've been at 185 for a little bit now. But yeah, all in all, those are kind of the updates on my training schedule, my diet. Uh, school's really been kicking my ass lately. I've had a ton of like final projects and stuff like that. Just because, so we have Thanksgiving break in a week and we have like a few days off. I'll be down in LA for raw gear mo for most of it. But after that, we have like a week of school left in the semester and then finals week. So it's basically all coming down to this. Uh, my professors are like packing on assignments, schoolwork, exams and stuff like that. But that's not an excuse. I love doing this shit and it's really fun to document. So lately I've been doing pull-ups just like with a wider grip. So I'll be on like on the outside of there just because I feel in my back much more. Because the closer in I get, the more I'm like pulling myself up with my arms. So I've just been feeling a lot better in my back lately when I'm doing wider grip. Though, the wider you go, the harder it is. so much harder taking every single 25 plate we can find this entire gym <laughs> no more in this gym no, I, don't know. I don't know what it is but I'm so tired today it's probably because I'm feeling sick but still having a pretty decent workout rose went well all right so Yo, look at those armpits, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>
know what it is, but like the fact that you're going into your first like few reps knowing that it's gonna be like a drop set for like five different plates. I don't know, it just hits me hard. Like I wasn't able to do close to as many as I did in the last few reps. I don't even know if that makes any sense, but I'm, I'm fried. Shit died. Didn't die yet. Oh really? I thought the light went out. How many reps are you doing? Dude, I don't even want to film this anymore. This is like already like at least 25 reps. I don't even understand. I don't know. When there's not enough weight in this gym. Now it's time to biceps. Also guys, I'm not doing no shave November. I just haven't shaved for like three days, so that's why I look freaking homeless. How about no not November? Yeah. Cut the camera. I'm getting kind of insecure. This kind of reminds me of like a wrestling singlet, and ever since I thought of that, I freaking hate it.
he's about to hit fucking 600 flat on deadlifts. Let's go. Nothing but a peanut. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fun fact, I actually used to play basketball in high school. It's pretty decent to be honest. I was. Wait. I used to come in here like last year. I don't know how much I was filming that. There's some videos that are on there. And just pose by myself, set up my camera. Nostalgic. This bathroom is super nostalgic. 